the longest turn I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. She was found r running in the streets of Miami. Like, just found. I take in hospice dogs, dogs who have been abused or who have been abandoned. I was picking up puppies that were delivered that day to take them to a friend that was going to raise the puppies. It was just a dog there that couldn't walk and they were fixing to euthanize them. I said, I won't take those unless I can have him. Hello, my Lisa boy. Taught himself how to walk and run, and he runs faster than any dog here now. There is a huge need for this. How many dogs are being put down when, you know, maybe after two or three months, they're capable of being adopted or living. This is Stuart. Stuart has a brain tumor and Stuart has epilepsy. And all the little girls love him. This is Miss Rudy. Rudy's the one with scoliosis and comfort. Here we have Dolce. She came as Dolce, but she might be Dee Dee now. She is so talented. She has tricks. Oh my goodness, you are so talented. She thinks she's a great day, but she doesn't know she's three pounds. She just goes and collects beetles and she brings them in and she'll give them to me. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do with these beetles? I get up around 5.30 or 6. I feed the dogs, medicate the dogs, make sure the dogs go out. If they need to be in a special area, like the two pound dogs, they go in a special area. Dogs that have no fur, they can't stay outside or they'll get sunburned. I'll, I'll put everybody up and then they know it's time for me to go. And then I go to work. I just love them to death. They make me feel safe. I don't know how a woman with 20 disabled dogs could feel safe, <laughs> but they make me feel safe. They make me feel loved. They make me feel that if we can come together and take care of these animals, that there's hope for our world. Si amas a los animales, suscríbete.